about a life like Rocco Please don't disturb, swear I'm strange just like potholes Had to take it further, I ain't settling for condos Had the secret sauce, so I blew up like my dope burger Earn it, watch I fucking learn ya yeah. I don't think I'm hot, I just know the dope burner Like it never did oh my God. Hey what's up guys, just got back from work And uh, just got done eating, so But, got another episode for you guys E30's back here, of course if you guys didn't see the episode, I did finally bag E30. So if you guys want to check that out, um, I'll leave it linked down below and I'll pop one of those little bubbles up or whatever. But looks pretty sick. Just um, adjusted the front suspension up a little bit more. So when I air up, I can get out of the driveway. And then um, back fitment I'll have to worry about later. Anyways, point of this episode, as you guys, if you guys have been following me, um, if you remember last year, um, Around the same time, I ordered some rare side skirts that I got from um, a friend of a friend. And I uh, was super excited to use them, which were the BBS side skirts. But being that I have a four door, no one ever told me that I couldn't use the four door ones because the way um, the thing comes down, it like cuts off the door. So you have to cut the side skirts, which I didn't want to do to, you know, rare side skirts. So. So um, I didn't want to do that, so I was on eBay looking for side skirts for my other friend and found another set of rear side skirts. So I'm going to be uh, unboxing those today and I'll give you guys a little, just a little history lesson that I've learned um, researching them because I was going to buy another set of side skirts, I just um, went with these because the first set would not fit, but I'll get into all that crap when I um, open these up. I got them from uh, Nürburgring Auto Parts, I think. I think they're in like Washington, so I have a bunch of Euro cars, so that's where I got these from. He had them up for like, I don't know, like three, 350 or 400 I don't remember what it was, um, but I pretty much talked them down to 350 shipped, and uh, they're here, so let's see how good of condition they are. Um, this is two parts of this, the long part of the skirt, skirts, and then I have the uh, other part over there, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lay a towel out on the back of the car and uh, open these side skirts up and see what they look like. And these are the ones I can actually use on my car, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get them wrapped beforehand um, and then just put them on because I don't really want to wait until my wrap comes out to put them on. So I think I'm just gonna have my friend wrap them black and then go ahead and throw them on the car. But I will be doing like a test fit tomorrow if I have some time, so. Let's go ahead and get these bad boys open and uh, talk about what they are. All right, guys. So let's get the handy dandy uh, unboxing knife out that I use for everything. Just you guys don't know what it looks like. Anyways, I didn't really wrap this like super good compared to like you know being in like a huge box or anything, but it seems all right. I mean, it's not like terrible or anything. Let's see if this knife is even sharp enough to cut anything anymore. It needs to be pretty sharpened. So while I'm getting these open, these were, um, these did come up like in 86, I believe. Um, poop. But these are supposed to fit a sedan, uh, just because of the way they are. So, I mean, all skirts pretty much fit. You just got to watch out for the, um, the ones that have the ears, like the BBS that I bought, and then, uh, Zenders. Even though I'm pretty sure they do make a four-door Zender, four-door uh, Zender skirt, not really sure yet. So, so what these side skirts are? They are. If I'm gonna pronounce it right. They are FIBA side skirts, P-F-E-B-A. Um, if you guys know anything about um, E30 kits and whatnot, um, what I was told is they are the, they were the first um, company to do like stuff to uh, E30s, like body kits that you can get from the dealer because these kits were a dealer option. So, um, these actually do look pretty decent condition besides, you know, being dirty and shit. Not exactly sure how they mount, but as you can see um, right here, they do have these um, the ears, I guess you would call them. And uh, I do have the front pods. One front pod right here, 
and one front pod right here. And they're actually, I would say, pretty damn good condition for being from 86. You know, side skirts and shit are always beat up and uh, everything's all, you know, broken and everything. Pretty sure these are made from ABS plastic. The mounting points don't look to be fucked up or anything. Um, got a little stamp right here, which I'll show you guys later. Uh, looks like they've been scraped a couple times, but you know, no big deal there. Uh, it looks like those are pretty nice. Uh, mounting points are not ripped or anything. These are pretty nice. I'm actually pretty impressed how uh, good condition these are. Um, I guess I'll unwrap this. So I'm taking you guys off the tripod. All right, guys, so here's a little closer look at them. Um, they are similar, as you can tell. They are really similar to the Imtech ones. But um, I'm pretty sure that um, the FIBA stuff came out before the Imtech stuff. So, like I said, these were a dealer option. So these are, well, I was told from the guy that I was talking to um, that these were the first people that did um, body kits and stuff for the E30s that you can get. Um, I'm not sure if that's completely true or not, but I'm going to turn it down. Uh, let's see if we can see the little stamp, even though it's upside down. That's how you know they're legit. They got the stamp. You can see PFEBA. And then this side has the stamp also. Let's see if I can get out of the light here. You can see right there. It's got a stamp. But uh, they do look pretty uh, damn clean, honestly. Um, I think this part right here has to get glued to the car. I'm not really sure. Because like I said, you know, I've never... Uh, Never seen these before, in person, of course. As far as the price, um, well, let's just start at the beginning. So I was uh, talking to my friend Andrew. I was like, "Dude, you need to get these Zender skirts that are on. Uh, they're online right now on eBay, and uh, they're only like I don't know, 250 or 300 dollars or whatever. It's like you need to get those on your car, dude." And then I was like, uh, "Well, shit, I got some other side skirts on here." And then I originally found these side skirts, which I'll insert some pictures right now. I found these side skirts, which are. Um, I came to learn they were the first set of uh, FIBA, I guess that's how you, call, you would say it, FIBA um, side skirts. So this part right here, those were three pieces, these are two pieces as you can see. But um, they're pretty much similar to this, except the, uh, the little pods that come up um, were a little bit thicker. So they kind of look like um, a mixture between the Zender and then the BBS ones. So they're the big piece and then the two ears on each side. So they were three piece and I asked a couple people they said they didn't know what they were and then I found a video on YouTube of um, a 1984 FIBA kit car that um, came from Switzerland which which is the guy I've been talking to to get my uh, information on. Um, so anyways I found this car it's just like a little clip like a 30 second clip or whatever so I started commenting on it just so I can you know get some details since he has the car he should know a little bit about it. So I talked to him and um, he said that the ones that he had on his car were the first set, um, so they came on the Euro cars, not the US cars or anything. He said um, FIBA kits were the first jobs that the, um, the dealers had on the E30s, like for, for body kits and whatever. He said in 1984 they built a 323 with um, the M20 in it, and it was like 30k or something. So apparently the people in Switzerland wanted to have like the best E30s I guess. So. FIBA took 200 cars from that year and then built the Zint or built the kit for them, um, which was similar to this kit. But I'll I'll throw up some pictures of what the kit looked like. Um, but that's what the kit they built and then uh, sold them for like I don't know 31,000 DM or whatever their money is over there in Switzerland. He said the production for those cars, um, those 200 cars, only lasted for 60 days between like. November 27th and 84 and then um, January 27th in January so the reason they uh, stopped making parts you know the FIBA stuff um, is because in, like in 1986 the Zender stuff started coming out and you know BBS and MTech and um, FOI and all the other shit so a bunch of other companies started making um, stuff for E30s so so that's pretty cool I just learned all that stuff um, about the kids so like I said you can still find like new old stock but it's kind of hard to find and um, just for the price of everything like I said the guy had these up for um, let's see he wanted like uh, 350 for the side skirts and then he had like $75 on each pot or whatever 
because I didn't see those at first. I thought he was just selling the side skirts without the front pods, but then I found the listing for those. So um, I just talked to him, and he was like, um, well, the cheapest I can do is 380 shipped. I said, well, all right, well, let me uh, offer you 350 shipped. And he took it, so here they are. But um, I just thought it was a pretty cool little uh, history lesson that I found out on these uh, side skirts, just to give you guys a little context or whatever. So I'm not sure in this video, they are pretty clean, so I think maybe tomorrow after work, um, depending on what time I get home, uh, bring the U30 back in here after I get done driving it, and then I'll um, just do what I do with the BBS side skirts and go ahead and um, test fit them up. Hopefully they look pretty sick. Since the car is back now, um, I think it's be definitely a lot more aggressive. I do like the other side skirts that you can get, but you know, just with a sedan, it's hard to find stuff that's actually for a sedan. Like I said, they do make a Zender kit, I think, um, for sedans, so the back ears by the back doors are a little bit skinnier than the front end, which I think uh, this girl named Stephanie has on her car, which is this car. Um, she has a Zender kit, so I'm pretty sure that they did make a sedan one, but it's just hard to find stuff for sedan because a lot of stuff is just for coupes, especially when it comes to these side skirts like my BBS, um, or just uh, most Zenders that you find out there. So. I'm going to take some of these pictures and put them on Instagram. And as far as putting them on this episode, I'm not sure if I want to have my friend uh, wrap them. I'm going to clean them up and then I might have them wrap them black because like I said, I want to get the car wrapped. So I don't want to, I don't want to get them painted black because I'm just going to be changing the color back to the car color. So I might as well just pay him to wrap them black because who knows when the fucking, uh, the wrap is going to come out, so I might as well just wrap these and put them on, and then um, hopefully they look pretty nice or, or while it's fucking sitting in storage. But uh, enough rambling. I'll get to the uh, test fit tomorrow night, and um, hopefully they look pretty sick. I'll probably just do one side. But like I said, I'm, I'm super excited about how fucking clean these actually are. Like the paint's even nice. It has like scratches and shit, but then all these fucking numbers or whatever. But mounting points are solid, they're not fucking ripped or broken or anything. The front caps are very nice. The only thing I really seen when I test fitted the cap was um, just the way the body is. Like this part right here kind of sticks out from the body. Which I don't really care, but enough rambling. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that little history lesson that I learned. Hopefully, right, so uh, E30's in here, test fitted them. Um, been driving it today, but test fitted the skirts. So this part might get a little grainy, but uh, this is what they look like on the car. Sorry, I got limited space in here. Fucking shit everywhere, cars and everything, but they look super sick. Super happy I got these. Like I said, it was either these or the MTech ones, and I found these first by a whim. So definitely looks pretty cool. Left the car aired out so I could see how it would look um, with the car on the ground or whatever when they had the side skirts on it. I think it definitely does um, make it a little bit more aggressive just because of the ears coming up the side. So I don't have them uh, super tight. You can see there's a gap there. So it's kind of hard to get them pushed together when they're just mounted up with tape and shit. So, But I think once I get some uh, black wrap on them and then uh, get some black wrap on them and then I, um, I want to do some splitters on the uh, bottom side of them. I think that'll definitely set them off and make them look a little bit different. Because when I do my front valance, my new one, uh, I want to do splitters on that too. So, just so it looks a little bit more aggressive and I've always wanted to put splitters on something. So, hopefully, um, as far as this episode, I'm probably just going to show you guys what I got then the test fit right now. And then um, I'm going to have my friend wrap them sometime soon and then get the splitters all made. That'll be like a separate episode where they get wrapped and they get um, the splitters made. And then from there I can uh, mount them on the car and figure out how I'm going to mount them in the first place. So, like I said, they definitely look awesome. So happy I got these. They are super similar to the M-Tech, um, but you know, a little bit different. So as far as the back, let me show you this little clearance I got. So, side skirt's not really on there, but as you can see, I got plenty of clearance between the back door and the other thing. My BBS side skirts, when I got them, they went down here and then cut off the fucking the part of the door right here. So I'd have to chop all that out from the side skirt, which I didn't want to do. So, 
I'll just keep them for a coupe I'm gonna get. But uh, it kinda was hard getting these on because they did come off of a fucking coupe. But they do fit these, you just have to be able to stretch them out and mount them. I'm not sure what you can mount to underneath, but I think it looks pretty sick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode and I was just, um, I just wanted to give you like a little history that I learned. If I am incorrect about stuff, go ahead and tell me in the comments. Because like I said, I was just saying what I was told, so. If you guys do have some uh, information on these kits and everything, be sure to let me know down below. And um... So be sure to check out the video where uh, I bag the car, and by the time I get that up, I'll have the trunks have set up video done, and that'll be posted. And uh, just expect me to put these skirts on sometime in November. Um, by then, the car will probably be in storage, um, hibernating. So just gonna wrap them black for now, um, this year, because the, the wrapping won't be done until next year. New fenders and hood and all that other shit. So just gonna throw them on now, so they're not sitting around and. Uh, I can actually use something instead of having parts sitting around for years. That's another reason I want to post this video because I don't want the video to go on for a month and a half or two months or whatever just because of uh, time restraints of getting stuff wrapped and everything. But uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and uh, follow me on Instagram and everything. Uh, I'll leave my personal and my uh, my other account. I think I'm getting close to 35,000 on uh, E30 Mafia. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.